Do you feel frustrated when you get stopped out of a trade, only to see it eventually move in the direction you predicted? I understand the pain and disappointment that comes with it. After getting stopped out countless of times, I found the answer to how price really moves, how the market really works. In this video, I want to uncover a powerful trading strategy that has the potential to transform your results. I want to review why professional traders prefer to manipulate price and why it makes lots of sense right now, especially with lots of trading algos. Hello, I'm Bini here. Watch this video till the end. I will review what is wash and wins, a strategy that I use to trade almost everything like forex, stocks, indices, gold, oil. And I actually use wash and wins to trade such that it allows me to sell at the real high or buy at the real low without being stopped out often. In this video, I'll be covering five main parts. One, key reason why you are always stopped out. Two, about the wash and wins WR pattern. 3. High profit locations to spot the WR patterns 4. Case studies on WR on stocks, forex, gold, oil and crypto and 5. How can you move forward when you know about this wash and rinse pattern? Let's get started for the first part. This is a chart on oil. We have two known resistance here. One will be this high here and another one will be this high here. You're going to draw in your resistance line. That's going to give you your supply. And right now at this place, what are you going to do? Are you more likely to sell or more likely to buy? I think the answer is clear. You are likely going to take a short position. Either you're going to put a sell limit at this place here or at the second place and your stop loss slightly higher. So this is a known strategy and this is probably what many people will do. Now your action will be totally considered by the professional traders and of course with the algo they will be able to see what you are trading and they're going to see all the levels that you're going to work on right these are known to them right and these are very obvious levels which when it trigger a stop for example you know at this place here, you know, your profit stop loss is going to be treat that's where you're going to put in your trade which is a sell trade and you're going to find that you'll be stop out and then ultimately find that price is going to move in the right direction and your shot wasn't too wrong let me explain why it has to go up first and then flash your stops that's because at somewhere there's another resistance up there that you didn't manage to see but don't forget we have all this algo that can see perfectly all this resistance very clearly when we can't they can't and they can flush our stops and they will create this ultra bullish candle here and that is going to flush the stop and not only that it's going to let people to think it's going to be a very bullish position some people might even jump in to take the other side to buy on the breakout and that's when they're going to flush your stop they're going to turn the other side and they're going to just make sure you lose your money. This is a bearish engulfing pattern. The red long candle tells us that the bears took over. But if you take a look into the whole candle, the two candle pattern here, it doesn't really tell us a lot of things about what happens on top. It doesn't tell us the human behavior or how they feel. So this is not an ideal state if you just use purely candlestick pattern. I have a solution which is to take a look at the candle before it. I'm going to take a look at the candle before it and I've labeled that as one. So what what do we know from 1 and 2? We know that those who bought in at 1 or 2 into this buy position, if they ever bought in, will be very disappointed when candle number 3 happened. It means that when candle number 3 happened, those who bought at 1 and 2 will be losing money. In this case, if we can draw in a horizontal line that's mark 1 and 2, that means if 2 close above 1, we will draw a horizontal line at the 1 high, this will become a cell wash line. Now see the cell wash line as a boundary, that means a divider between a bullish zone and a bearish zone. Because those who saw that 2 is higher than 1, they will buy on the breakout. If price continue to stay above one high, which is the wash line above the wash line, then this would be a bullish region. However, if price trades below the wash line, then this will become a bearish region. The wash line would be seen as a divider. Right? In this case, we have the pattern here where number two would be the wash bar and number three would be the rinse bar. 
This is a bullish Harami pattern. It's bullish in nature and we'll be looking for a buy when priced close above the high of the Harami pattern. But the thing is that we do not know what happens at the bottom, at the support. How people are feeling, whether the stops are being flushed out, whether they feel happy that this Harami pattern happened. Right, so if we can take a look at the candle before the Harami pattern, that would be really very useful to us. This time, I've captured one candle before the Harami pattern. I labelled two and three for the Harami pattern, and then one at the candle before it. Now let's attempt to draw a wash line. The wash line will be drawn at the low of one when we see that two had closed below one. Now why is this wash line important? Because it serves as a divider. Now anything that's above the wash line would be bullish, anything that's below the wash line would be bearish. Now if we look at four, four happens to close above the wash line. What does this tell us? It not only told us that whoever who shot it at two and perhaps even three would be feeling very angry because when they see that price is at 4 and above the wash line, then the short position would be at a loss. When this bullish harami happened, those people who traded at 2 and 3, if they continue with the sell position, would be right now facing a loss. They might need to cut their position and trigger a stop loss. That would be very useful information for us to formulate a trade. And this, in fact, would be a wash and rinse pattern, where 2 is a wash bar and 4 is a rinse bar. To sum up a bullish wash and rinse, number 1, we look for a bullish wash and rinse when price is headed lower. That means we don't look for a bullish wash and rinse when price continues to go up because then there is no way that we can draw a wash line. A wash line can only be drawn when you have a candle that closed below a previous low. So in this case here, 2 is below 1, then we can draw a wash line. Number two is that at the bullish wash and rinse pattern, there should be some form of a support. You can find that form of support either using, for example, a moving average or a horizontal level, historical levels, or even pivot points or even Fibonacci. The whole idea is that there must be some form of support at two and three or where the wash bar happens. Now, third is that usually the wash bar is going to be very dramatic. It's not going to be a dodgy, but it's going to be a full body candle, usually a solid candle, because the wash bar is the bar that the market participants, the algo, use to manipulate price and they fake prices and they want to scare you, right? So therefore, the wash bar, okay, in this case, would be likely a long red or black bar. So this would be one that represents impulse behavior. A lot of people at this wash bar get stopped out, a lot of shots pause in, and just waiting to be washed. Number four, you can only enter the trade if price had a closed above the wash line, which means that the trigger, which is the rinse bar, must be above the wash line. The extent of the wash line must be significant. It cannot be a close that's insignificant, right? How do we define significant? I will probably cover this in the next video. The idea is that there must be a long down bar and a long up bar when the washed and rinse happen. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a light? Alright, so for the sell pattern, same thing, price must move up. That's the point number one. Right, between one and two, you must find that there's continuous outward movement because you want to sell at the high, you don't want to sell at the low. Number two, you need to have a closed above one high. That means you need to find any candles that closed higher than the previous high, then you'll be able to draw a wash line. So in this case, you'll be able to draw a wash line at the high of one. All right, and your rings bar will only happen when price had a close below the wash line. So in this case here, two would be the wash bar and three would be the rings bar. All right, then um, at the top, that's point number three at the top, right? We should be able to find a strong resistance and the strong resistance can be given by any of the points that's listed here. Right, very important, we need to have three that close below the wash line as a very significant move. And of course, right, when two moves up, it should be also a drastic up bar. It shouldn't be a dodgy, it must be a solid bar. In this case here, it maps the criteria because we saw two close right at the high. Now, closing right at the high near to a resistance is a very clear sign of a market manipulation. 
You're gonna find wash and rinse in many locations, just like Canon State. But there are some special places that we always look for wash and rinse. And at these locations, at these special places, the probability of wash and rinse is very high. And 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 it makes sense, right? For market makers, for professionals to fake the move only at important price levels. The first place that you want to look for wash and means is near to important price levels. They are usually near to previous low, previous high, or where these are support turn resistance or any important historical price levels that are significant. All right, for example, I have this zone here which I've drawn and that is a support that turns into resistance and then back into a support level after price broken out of this zone here. Now right now, price is near to a very important support level with a long solid down bars. Okay, now this long solid down bar is the first hint where there could be a wash and rinse that's happening because you know it's 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 obvious at these important levels that's where market wants to manipulate what you are thinking they probably want to create some fear with this long bearish candle here all right but that's where we'll be looking for wash and rinse right so you can draw in a wash line here on the previous low so that's where you have this previous low to draw in the wash line and when price can close above the wash line that becomes a bullish entry for us to trade this bullish wash and means. For example, at this point here, price had a closed right above the wash line and that becomes our entry to go long. Have you clicked the subscribe button and how about a like? The next location that I'll be looking for high probability wash and means pattern is near the moving averages or when you trade with the trend. For example, for here, price is moving up trend. It's hard to, you know, find why there is a sudden reversal if you don't see any reversal pattern but there's this long down bar here although that it doesn't really close the width the low but that's really a high volatility and with a like solid bar that closed below the wash you're able to draw in the wash line here let me just change this into a magenta color and uh, if price doesn't stay below the wash line instead it closes back up that would be a wash and we can see after this price actually really moves up very nicely i can point to you so many different patterns here for example that's a wash bar and then this is a rinse bar and this one is a wash bar and then this is a rinse bar and it works perfectly so well as long as you can follow the trend all right so that's another one more here you see we got that you know downtrend or covered and we are able to sell high during this downward movement This is Nvidia, this is a hot stock. Have you ever wondered what happened to the price here? Right? What can you see here? And then are you able to enter right at the low? Let me just show it to you how you do it. Now for stocks, I like to use a weak chart. I like to see the wash and means in a weekly chart. This is right now the weekly chart for a long time, Nvidia never closed above the weekly moving average. And we saw that there was a close above here, right? That's where we take the first stand of a bullish move, right? Well, when it starts to move down, you'll be able to find that wash and means, okay? Um, see that this bar had a close below the previous low. You're able to draw in the wash line here. So this is the wash line. Let's color that as magenta. Because I like to make the wash line where buy is magenta, green is for sale. Okay, so um, price had a closed above the magenta wash line when it closed back up. So that is the wash and means, right? Because it should be a bullish movement. It's so obvious that there was a close above the moving average and the market maker have to go and flush prices downwards to mislead people to think that it's going to be bearish. But in fact, what are they doing? They are accumulating prices. And you see how well Nvidia moved up after the wash and rinse buy signal. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? This is Euro. Euro has been in this horizontal resistance for the third time already. At the third time, we saw that price make that criteria for wash and rinse. It had this very bullish up bar that uh, raises to the resistance, but we're just going to watch if price can close below the wash line. I right, have a wash line drawn here, and this should be a green wash line. We were just waiting for price to close below this wash line. Um, let's see what happened for this trade. 
All right, you can see that uh, price is below the wash line. This means that whoever who bought near to this resistance would now at the rinse bar be wash and rinse. This is gold, this is a typical trade. Again, price is near to a horizontal resistance. But what do you see? You saw a like a bullish bar that's gonna do a breakout. Now, market will not behave like what it happens 20, 30 years ago. The market is just different, right? You wouldn't do the breakout properly. If it should break, it won't let you know, right? So for here, just stand by drawing the wash line. Okay, we can see quite a clear resistance at the previous high, but if you just move a little bit further, and I'm sure that Algo will see this, is that this price here, where price is right now at 2050, is the previous historical high of gold, all right? So it's very obvious for market to trick you to fake a move and subsequently to just move down, all right? We have the wash and rinse here. In fact, there we have another one more wash here, which allows us to trade into the short again. And price, look what happened. It just moved straight down nicely. Well, oil is generally downtrend. We saw a horizontal level here as a support, right? And then we have this upsloping trend line. But I wanted you to observe in terms of the price behavior. Look at how at this moment, the price of oil was dropping. It is dropping as if that is going to be at the end of the world. But, you know, the fact is, it's just a pushing a strong zone of support. Um, you don't see dodges here. You don't see hammer here. But you saw a full bar down very very aggressive down at each of the turning point. You see the change in price movement right now. The price action that we know last time in the past no longer happens at this moment in according to the textbook example. Right, so let's uh, draw in the wash line. This time we're going to draw in the wash line here and this wash line should be a magenta color and we're just going to watch how price moves. Same thing, we're going to go long when price closes above the wash line and this is the case or you can just do a little bit at the wash line. And we're just going to target somewhere around high here as oil is right now in the range. All right, you can see that trading in the range, but you know, the price movement is just very obvious in wash and rinse. And in fact, we're going to have another bearish wash and rinse here by drawing in this bearish wash line and when price is near to a horizontal level. Take a look at the prices here. Pause for a while if you need to. I've drawn in two support regions, both of them in grey. First of them was here at this grey colour zone and that was a previous low that had been touched three times and then with this red colour bar, price seems to have broken this support region. I have another support region here which is this wider grey colour zone here and this was made up by a previous low here and then some of the highs. Now with this long Dow furious red bar, it seems to suggest that the support region has been broken. Well, do you think so? Well, of course, if you take a look into moving averages and then priced is right now below the moving average, it's we have all sorts of reasons to go short. But since now you learned things like wash and means and you learned that the market can be manipulated, price can be fake, and you want to know that you shouldn't be selling at a low price. Okay, and of course, right, with technology, we have algos, and algos can see a lot of prices that we can't see. Okay, so we're going to just draw in a wash line here. And then if you happen to, let's say, short, at least you know that if price closed above the wash line, then your short position would be wrong. Okay, how do we draw in the wash line? Same thing, we have a close that's below the previous low and then we just have to draw in simply a horizontal line at the previous low. Okay, now let's let's take a look at how price move here. Oh yes, now you have this wash and means and then price moves up. Okay, now have you wondered why this was such a bearish bar and what is it that resulted in this switched back up and this wash and rinse pattern? Now, if I would just roll back a little bit further, okay, and, and that's where this is the very important clue. It was in fact coming into a very 
important resistance that turned into a support. That means that there was another zone of a support here that was given by the previous resistance and it probably didn't see it and probably some others, some algos, some machine saw these levels and in order to create that fake move, in order to trick you to short, to sell to them at a cheap price, it made this huge down furious bar. Don't be caught. Once you know wash and wins, you should be trading into that wash and wins pattern. If you see how price moves up, it exploded upwards and reached into the previous high very nicely. Take a look at the wash and rinse. Take a look at the reward to risk ratio. We are only paying this short amount of risk for that huge amount of reward. Reward to risk ratio here, our stop loss would be somewhere around here at the previous low plus a little bit of a buffer, but our target would be such a huge one and the reward to risk ratio is easily more than two. All right, right now it's at 2.82. Congratulations, you come to the last part of the session, which is moving forward. Now that you know what is wash and means, that's a good move. Even if you don't know how to trade yet, but don't worry, I'll be making quite some videos on wash and means going forward. At least you know that there's such things called wash and means and there were all this fake move that is meant to take the money away from you. All right, trading is not easy, definitely. Uh, I've um, seen and watched many YouTube videos that doesn't cover the crux and I just wanted to talk about what I really felt after 20 years of trading and watch and means is the key because I found really how to trade this market. Um, going forward, there are a few things that you can do. Number one is that continue to watch the price movement. You realize that the old patterns, or old candlestick patterns, or the, old, the things that we learned in our textbook, they might not apply. And it makes sense because then our life really changed a lot um, with uh, computers, with technology, even with the phones, uh, with chat GPT. Things just changed and um, there will be a lot more algos. There will be a lot more AI in trading going forward. Now, second thing, uh, what you can do is that I've put forth a full module explaining what is wash and means. This is the module will not be a full strategy, but it does give you a very good overview and you can watch it and roll for this free module in this link below here. That is that I have a course and this course is uh, chargeable. But the nice thing is that at this moment, you can get a full refund. That means the course fee is fully refunded. Uh, you can take the course. But mm, I'm producing this video doesn't mean that I want you to take the course. But I just thought that if you think that wash and rinse is something that you want to look out for, you want to incorporate into your own strategy, then you want to have a comprehensive view that you can consider to take the course. Anyway, um, the course fee is fully refunded, of course, with terms and condition. All right, um, I've come to the end of this uh, video. I hope that you like this and then um, I'm proud that you survived with me for so long. Um, I took quite a long time to produce this video. You can see my hair is a bit different, right? Because it's nighttime already, I bathe. Um, if you can, do subscribe to give a thumbs up so that others can get to know this video. And when I launch new videos on Watch and Means, you get to watch it. You get to notify the first time, first instance that I release the video.